Hello, my name is John Maul and today we're going to look at the RD700 NX. But what I want to do is focus on a few features that perhaps you didn't realise existed inside of this stage piano. Now this of course is the fourth generation in the RD700 series and as you'd expect the piano sounds are fabulous, supernatural piano sounds. The piano keyboard feels great, the PHA3 keyboard and also the design of the piano is very much geared for the live player to make decisions about changing sounds and splitting the keyboard at the last moment if needs be. So let's begin by having a look at some of the other sounds and for this we're going to have a look at the live sets. Okay let's have a look at the live sets. We have presets and also user live sets. Let's begin with the preset. If I select a clav you can see here by using the dial I can step through the various clav sounds and now the mallet sounds and the strings. Note the categories that are showing up as I step through the sounds. So of course if I want to get to a brass sound press the brass category and very very quickly I can find the brass or the wind sound that I'm looking for. So we have 300 of these factory presets. Now in addition there are over 950 tones inside of here. If you press tone edit and step down one you can see the tones that are available to you. In fact many many tones. If I keep going to the very end you'll see not only sound effects but also drum kits. Now let's step back to a synth brass sound by pressing the brass category and find a particular brass sound I'd like to use. What I'd like to do now is edit that sound. So I'm going to step through a few of the pages. Here we have basic synthesizer editing. Let's change the attack time. But it would also be nice to use these sliders to adjust the synth sound. So in this case, rather than using these sliders for the layer or the level, I'm going to select control. Even filtering. And once you've made your sound, press the right button, select one of the hundred user live sets that you want to write to, and once you've found it, press right and confirm with the enter button. So very, very simple to create your own sounds and start editing using synthesizer parameters. So we've already seen how we can use the sliders here, either for layer or level control, also for programming some of the synthesizer effects. Over to my left I have two switches that I can use also for additional effects. But below I have a three pedal unit. Now this is the RPU3. The right pedal is automatically fixed to a sustain or a damper but the middle pedal and the left pedal can be assigned for any particular functions that I want. Let's give you an example of how that works. I'm going to use a user live set and I'm going to show you an electric piano so let's just begin by listening to this. Okay, now what I've done is assign the middle pedal to add some vibrato but it will control the speed of the vibrato. The left pedal will add chorus.
and there's no reason why I can't press both pedals simultaneously. Now this is great for the piano player because it gives me more expression, not just in terms of playing, but I can continue to use these effects to add that additional heightened expression, rather like an organist would use a Leslie effect. Now let's take it to extreme. Here I have a synthesizer sound in my right where I can control the filtering by using the two upper sliders, but in addition, the left pedal will control a ring modulator effect. Down the bottom we have a groove. And what I'm going to do is use the middle pedal to sustain that groove. But in addition, I'm going to use the lower sliders to control the filtering of the groove. So, as you can hear and see, the RD700NX is far more than just a stage piano. With its powerful sound source and extensive control capabilities, the player can explore many kinds of musical styles beyond a pianistic approach. Thank you for watching.